LeBron James and Chris Paul are the first NBA players to come to Stephen Curry's defense after President Donald Trump called out the Golden State Warriors star on Twitter for refusing to come to the White House if invited. You bum at S-T-E-P-H-E-N-C-U-R-R-Y-30 already said he ain't going, so therefore ain't no invite. Going to White House was a great honor until you showed up, LeBron James at King James September 23, 2017 Houston Rockets guard Chris Paul, who is also the NBA Player Association's president, defended Curry, while also bringing up comments Trump made a rally in Alabama on Friday night with everything that's going on in our country, why are you focused on was kneeling and visiting the White House stay in your lane, Chris Paul at CP3 September 23, 2017 and I doubt has man enough to call any of those players a son of a bitch to their face, Chris Paul at CP3 September 23, 2017 Paul is referring to Trump's comments where he called for NFL players who kneeled during the national anthem to be fired. After Curry announced he would choose not to go to the White House, if invited Friday night, President Trump withdrew Curry's invitation to the White House with a tweet Saturday morning. Going to the White House is considered a great honor for a championship team. Stephen Curry is hesitating therefore invitation is withdrawn, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump September 23, 2017 Curry's Warriors teammate Draymond Green joined James and Paul in calling out Trump still wondering how this guy is running our country. Draymond Green at MONEY 23 Green September 23, 2017 in Los Angeles Lakers legend Kobe Bryant also had words to say a POTUS Woe's name alone creates division and anger. Woe's words inspired dissension and hatred can't possibly make America great again, Kobe Bryant at Kebabrian September 23, 2017.